Hey you guys, so I'm going to be showing you how to make the cards for your bows to be able to attach your clips to. So what I do from the beginning is I go to bing.com because I feel like you can download so much more than Google because Google sends you to other places. So from Bing, I go to, I just look up pretty shapes and then I push search and I go to my images and then I pick like one of these whichever one like that I like so say I want this one right here you click on that click on it again oh, and that one doesn't work so let me go to a different one there we go that one should work so you click on that and then command save and I save it to my documents you can save it to wherever you usually go for that and then I go to my Cricut Design Space to be able to create my template. And you just sign into there. And I create a new project. So from here, if you've done Design Space, then you know how to upload your images that you got offline. If not, you just go to Upload and you go to upload image then you click browse and mine should be right there and I always just click, click complex and continue and it's already it already has the background taken out of it for me so I don't have to worry about taking any of that out and you want that space in the middle to be filled so you click continue and you save as a cut image. Okay, and then it'll bring you to this page right here and you click the image that you just did and push insert image. Okay, and then I'm going to make it to the size that I want, which usually I do around like five inches because that's about how big my bows usually are. You line that up there and then to change the color of your image so that way you can have your writing I just click it to white you can keep it to black and do your writing in white and then it's still you know going to be the color of your marker so you have that and then you want to put lines down here that's going to cut so that way your bows can slide through so you can go to shapes and you can go to score line And you can move that and you can shorten it. And you're going to have that as a cut. And it makes that solid. So then you go ahead and line it to where you want. And then so that way I know I have it the exact same size. I just copy and paste it. Then I line it up with the other one. And there you go. And then the next thing you want to do is you want to go to your text and click on your font. I go to my system so that way it's free. I download all of my text from defont.com. And then you just pick one that you want. If you want it fancy, you can do fancy. If you want it just to be, you know, plain, you can do that as well. It just depends on the type of business that you have. Say you want Betty. You can put rosy smells and designs. And then you're going to change that over to writing. and make it the size that you want. Let me move this all down so that way you can see. And then I always add thank you at the end of it. 
and then size that one as well and go over and click it to right again. And just adjust your size to however you like. And then again, you can make this bigger, smaller, however you want. And then I just select all and attach. And then you can copy and paste to however many that you need. I use heavy cardstock to be able to make mine. It just cuts it out. I just use the fine point blade and just use cardstock 80 pounds. So from here, you are ready to make it. And so then you just connect it to your machine and you're ready to go. All right, if you guys have any questions or have any other videos that you'd like me to do, just go ahead and comment down below. Thank you.